And so obviously I can't be here and not show you the view. Obviously it's nighttime so you can't see anything, but you see there's something blue back there. That means there's water and that's, that's pretty much it. So in this video, we're going to be going over another trade recap, nothing too crazy, just a trade in which we made about 3,900 profit in about one hour using less than $2,000 and let's jump right into it here. Hey my friends, so let's briefly go over another trade recap here. Nothing too crazy. We're not going to get too in depth with it here. I'm just going to break down the orders on a trade in which we made a $3,900 profit in about one hour today and that's pretty much it so i'm going to start you guys off with the orders break them down then hop over to the chart and we're going to wrap it up from there so first things first we were trading options obviously but we were trading puts so puts means you make money when the stock goes down i had 10 contracts of the 275 put at 185 each now with options for anyone that's new one is equivalent to 100 so if you see a dollar 85 it's actually 185 for one of them so because i had 10 of them 10 times 185 is 1,850. That's how much money we put into the trade. Now, that does not mean that's how much we are risking. We have a plan that if it goes against us, we get out for a loss. But I'm just pointing that out because I want to show that if you had that kind of money, you too, if you knew what you were doing, could have turned it into a $3,900 profit. Uh, and I just wanted to clarify on the idea of when I say that we're putting that into the trade, it doesn't mean that's what we're risking. When you put $2,000 into a used car that you want to buy and try and sell for $5,000, it doesn't mean you're risking the whole $2,000. You know, if something goes wrong with the car, or you realize you can't sell it for as much, you're not just going to drop it on the side of the road and, you know, say, all right, well, I lost two grand. No, you sell it, you take a loss, this and that, you move on. So now that we've clarified that, cost of the trade was 1850 then literally an hour later, I mean, an hour and one minute for those of you that like to pick on me for those things, an hour later, we sold it for 575 each. So 10 times 575, that's 5,750. So basically we bought a used car for the example here. We bought a used car for 1,850 and then an hour later, we were able to sell it for 5,750. And that's where you see the profit of 3,900. You subtract the cost of the trade from what you sold it for. So subtract 1,850 from 5,750. And that's pretty much it. The whole breakdown on all the orders for you guys there. Um, and that's pretty much it. Let's hop over to the chart and we'll wrap it up. Keep it a little quick video for you guys here. So as I mentioned, I got into it. We were trading puts. So puts means you make money when the stock goes down. So as the value of the stock decreased, the value of my put option increased. Now to kind of put it on a little bit more of a zoom out here for you guys, I had this on the watch list as well. I was watching it to see if we can get a push to the 300 area for the last few days, but we couldn't get it. So I was watching it today to see if we got that and I was seeing the weakness in it as well. And at this point, I figure it's just easier to keep it on this small one here for you guys. There we go. I mean, we can even say we had a little bit of a basketball type scenario going on for those of you that have attended my web classes before, the free webinars that I've done. Uh, but this is literally where I entered based on that confirmation as well, because I was kind of testing it and saying, all right, well, we're looking a little basketball -y here, guys. Are we going to crack it or what? And, and exactly as the basketball strategy teaches, that's exactly what it did. So I got in right here because I knew it was going to continue going down. Well, I'm not going to say I knew because no one knows, you know, you're never hundred percent right. I don't want you guys thinking that I'm claiming to be one of those guys, but you guys get my point based on my strategies, based on my knowledge, I was pretty sure it was going to go down. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to put that idea out there because everyone's going to be like, well, no one ever knows hundred percent. So got that aside. This is where I got in. And this is the point where I basically said, okay, I'm pretty sure this is going to keep going down. So I got puts and as this continued to go down, the value of the put that I paid 185 for the value of the put increased as the value of the stock decreased. And at this point, right here at 805, when I sold it, it went from 185 to 575. And that's where I took the profit right there. Now, ultimately, I was I was hoping for 270 and it got it, but I was hoping to see, all right, let's see if we crack it a little bit. I got my profit pretty quickly. And at that point, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was showing some signs of a reversal. Tying that in with the fact that I know the morning momentum, the big moves usually happen within the first two hours of the market open, I figured I would probably be chopping for the rest of the day anyways until it made another move, if it was going to make another move to the downside. So I decided I'm good, let it go, don't get too greedy here now, you know, take your profit, and that's pretty much it. That's where I closed out the trade, and you guys can see the buy and sell orders with the times there, you see the profit there and all of that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, obviously, it could have been a lot more but we don't focus on that. You know, if I go, maybe it'll even tell us right now. Yeah, right now, if I were to sell it right now, what I sold for 575, I would be selling for 1025. 
So instead of selling one for 575, I'd be selling one for 1,025. So that means I would have had like, man, what a, a 9,000 total profit if I was still holding it. But that doesn't bother me, guys. You go listen to all my other videos. It's not an issue. I'm not concerned. You'd think, you'd think if it was an issue after seeing it happen to me so many times, I would get concerned, guys, right? But no, you see all these years, I still say, don't worry about it. You stick to your plan. You catch the meat of the move. You took your profit. And that's it. Don't start making decisions and adjustments based on this or based on that or based on whatever happened after the fact. You came in, you got what you wanted, what you wanted to happen, happened, and that's pretty much it. So I'm not concerned. I'm not worried yet. It would be great if I could have had the extra profit, but we don't worry about that kind of stuff, guys. We focus on consistency and sticking to our strategies, and that's pretty much that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe. You know the usual things that help out the channel and motivate me to do more of these videos. And if you did not like it, then please still hit the thumbs up and then let me know in the comments what you didn't like or what you would like me to do more next time. And that's pretty much it, guys. We will wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Just have a great night, a great day great just have a great life and i'll talk to you soon